this video is going to be about 10 tips I wish I knew when I started playing Dragon Blade. They will help you save hundreds of hours during your playthrough without losing any of the experience. Make sure you watch through the whole video even if you think you know all that the game has to offer. Maybe you'll find one or two new things that you never knew about. Let's get straight into it. Number 1. Axes Axes are useless. Don't bother making an axe because swords actually break trees faster. They take fewer hits to break the tree and will protect you from free roaming slimes and skeletons pretty well. The best sword to do this is the Dragon Blade, which is a complete one hit for any tree. Number 2. Collect everything. Even if it seems tedious in the beginning, collecting monster hides, flags, and ferns is a grueling task later on when you know you could be spending your time doing better things like grinding zig or rebuilding your settlements. Number 3. Dig around the ores. Usually you can only mine one ore. If you pull out your shovel and dig around a bit, you might find 1 to 5 more ores around. It will increase your gathering rate by a ton, saving you a lot of time. Ores also respawn when you leave the area, so make sure to abuse it constantly. Number 4. Make sure to grab jaunting stations. Make sure to make one at your home and do wherever you use often. The ones you place that aren't on your plot will save when you leave, but they are ridiculously cheap to make so it does not matter. Make one everywhere. Make one at every single ore location you want. Make one at every lo uh, every location of monsters you want, including like the plasma core robot, right? Uh, make one near your friend's home if they're a dickhead and they won't place their own. Number 5. Explore the map. Exploring this game is absolutely crucial. I cannot stress this enough. People are constantly confine themselves to the little area around their settlement, never traveling throughout the map. But when you travel, and when you explore, you find out where all the monsters are, you find out where all the ores are, and you complete your exploration quest. Press M. There are also jaunting stations spread out through the map. You can unlock when you go near it. This will help you travel to places that would have taken you 10 minutes to get to in an instant. Number 6. Complete quests. Completing quests are an easy way to make an early buck in the early game. There's also a pain to do them later on, so let us well do them early game when you still need the items that you get from it. Take the collection quest, for example, you will not need truffles. Trust me, you will not need truffles. Number 7. Chests. Chests are a great way to make a stable amount of coins and monster hide. You can use the coins you get from the quests to buy keys to open more chests and upgrade your settlement. Number 8. Upgrading your settlement. Upgrading your settlement is your key to end game to better items. When you upgrade your settlement, you unlock more blueprints of items in the market and the stronger you'll get. Once you purchase these blueprints, you'll be able to craft them in whatever working station it requires. Take Dragon Armor for example, the best armor in the game. You don't really see it in your anvil, you really don't see it in your crafting stations, right? That's because you have not unlocked them yet. To unlock them, you need to get to a higher level settlement. Number 9. Get a good old mount. Mounts and jaunting stations will be your main source of transportation. When you jaunt to a new location, you will still need to travel a bit, usually to arrive at your destination. 5 star horses are a really good early game. Buy a random horse egg from the egg seller and, the, and speed hatch it by paying a little bit of gold. It's totally worth it because it's a guaranteed 5 star horse when you speed hatch it, meaning it can sprint for longer, meaning even faster. Make sure to always speed up the hatching to get a guaranteed 5 star. Cannot stress that enough. Make sure you speed hatch it, no matter what it is, no matter if it's a dragon egg or a horse egg. Make sure to craft monster wings as well, as you know, they are cheap and they will save you a lot of time. You know, just a little bit of quality of life things. Number 10. How the skill points work. First, you need to craft a Lobo Shrine. Once you have crafted the Lobo Shrine, 
you have to light both sides on fire with a torch. You will be able to put your points into either stamina, health, or bag space. For new players, I recommend putting your points into health and stamina, both around half, depending on your playstyle. I'm a different case where I split it between all three because I was planning to build and trade for most of my gameplay. Alright, that was 10 tips I wish I knew before playing Dragon Blade. If you would like a full guide on how to level up your character as fast as possible, drop a like down below. These are the winners of the last giveaway if you have not already claimed your prize. If you guys missed the last giveaway, no worries, comment down below if you want to see more giveaways. Sub and like the video. This has been Rasinko. Till next time.